Between the age of 3 and 13, I was sexually abused multiple times by different family members. Even though it was something that happened frequently, it was something that I stayed silent about until I was in college. It changed everything for me. It changed the way that I saw myself, changed the way that I saw the world. I was severely neglected too. I was placed in remedial classes because I wasn't taken to school regularly. I had to catch up to my peers. I saw and experienced things that no child should. I spent a short time in foster care before being raised by my grandparents. When I was 15 years old, I was sexually assaulted again in a college prep program. I've overcome so much adversity, so much trauma in my life. But I'm not a victim anymore. I'm a survivor. When I found my voice, I decided to be a voice for the voiceless using my personal story surviving trauma. My story has been my catalyst to create films. My award-winning documentaries have captivated audiences around the world and they've also created conversations about social issues. The work I'm doing has given me the opportunity to speak at events and programs organized by the Air Force, National Guard, colleges, nonprofits, and women and youth groups all around the country. I'm not afraid to be vulnerable, which makes our experience together authentic. You'll walk away more educated because I utilize the latest research in my talks and my films. To be able to share the background that she has, to be able to share and open up so much about such personal information about herself, it has to take a, a certain level of bravery and, and definitely a level of courage to be able to do that. And she does it in such an authentic way, in a passionate way, and in a way that it makes me want to join in and, and fight the fight with her.